so that I don't get any problems, he's going to say either there are one of two options, right? Either you consult your nutritionist or etc. Et or very simply that you're not. Mm -hmm. So the problem with yoga is that the weakness with yoga is that it requires the Yoga Sutra, another beautiful text of the yoga says very nicely that the mind is like a monkey. And wherever you tell how many of us so my point being that well, it's very, very comfortable saying that, oh, I'm going to sit and meditate, I'm going to sit and talk about the relief we had in the morning, how many of us thought about the weather today, how many of us thought about the commute and the traffic, how many of us, whenever you feel comfortable, slowly open your eyes, take one deep breath, gently close your eyes, take one deep breath and quieten your body in your mind. Because when we kind of mastered some 40 years ago, we don't have any problems with communicable diseases now. We talk about a cholera and a malaria that comes up as a journey of the self, from the self, through the self, to the self. And when we look at that, you no, know, what, what usually happens when I say, why are you not doing yoga? Everybody says, oh, I didn't find a teacher, I didn't find somebody who can teach me the right kind of practices, I don't have the time to do it, I don't like what the, the ambience of the place is, the place is too crowded, or the place is not very crowded, that fellow doesn't seem very popular, right? So these are all the reasons that we call out when we are not doing yoga practice. And I guess the others are here with the curiosity to find out why they do, why they need to do yoga. Wow, what is so special or what is so different in doing or practicing yoga? Um, there are a lot of misconceptions along with yoga that uh, some consider it a form of physical exercise, some consider it as a spiritual practice, a religious practice that only people who are going to temple, they need to practice yoga. Uh, there is another group of people who consider it Yoga need to be practiced only after retirement. While you are having a job and busy schedule, you don't have time to practice yoga. Well, we need to understand that it's none of this. Yoga is a scientific practice which helps us, which helps us through our physical pains, which helps us through our psychological trauma, stress, anxiety, depression, everything and it helps us in living a better healthy lifestyle. You me ma'am? <laughs> Look at please ma'am ready? Please wait ma'am one more ready sorry. Ma'am ready look here? Thank you ma'am. Ma'am sorry look here please ma'am one more ready look here? Uh, tired and uh, continue with the exercises. It doesn't appear that I proposed by the Honorable Prime Minister in uh, one of his speeches in UNGA on 27 September 2014. But uh, yoga doctors and experts are here, so I wouldn't uh, uh, go into yoga and its, and its benefits and other things that she will be able to tell us better. I would just want to share my experiences in uh, cradle during the delivery, delivery and post delivery. I just discussed that. Uh, in, in one word if I have to say about my experience, my journey, so far I would, I would just say it was awesome. It was awesome in uh, Riddle. So, uh, you know, uh, my husband and myself both have you know, kind of uh, become brand ambassadors of Apollo uh, uh, <laughs> So. Why the, the, the way the doctors and the team worked tirelessly uh, in the labor room and everything, you know, it was just it's just a memory, you know, I cannot forget throughout my uh, life. So, International Yoga Day, I believe, since its uh, inception on uh, 21st of June. But presently, I am holding the most uh, challenging post, I would say, that is of, uh, but the best post. That is of being a mother. So I'm on maternity leave now. Thank you. Um, I delivered a baby boy uh, on the 24th of April. 
and um, when it goes to again, I would I keep telling this to everyone whomsoever I meet. It was a normal delivery, and the credit goes to the doctors and the team of Cradle. Uh, thank you so much. I take this opportunity again to thank you, doctor. Um, instructions throughout my pregnancy, and I've like become used to receiving instructions from them. I cannot refuse at all. She's been my gynecologist, Dr. Vasantin, Dr. Raja. Within the police force, threats to life and transfers are the staples in her career, which she faces with guide healthcare and research, and is based out of Bangalore. Our chief guest for the morning is Ms. Vandi at the World Yoga Festival held at Rishikesh. On a more personal note, she has been to Yoga University to postgraduate at Doctrine Scholars. She has visited and conducted yoga for women's workshop, abolism and endocrine system in adolescents with PCOs and yoga for obesity. She has presented her work at several international conferences like International Conference on Traditional and Alternative Medicine and Congress of International Diabetes Federation. She is also on the editorial board of several scientific journals and has also received Integrated Medicine Program and first ever study evaluating the efficacy of yoga-based lifestyle program on PCOS. Dr. Nid's doctoral work on polycystic ovarian syndrome, which was funded by Ministry of Ayush.